Right, well, we reached the canal, which connects with the town, mm. an area called Old Cumbran, with its shops, its pubs, and all sorts. And we refer to it as Old Cumbran, but it's a heck of a lot more modern than most of what we've seen on our walk around, isn't it? It is indeed. I mean, we've now got to the canal, which is where what Cumbran really develops around. But we haven't got to the end of Cumbran's medieval story either, have we, Richard? Because if we go through Old Cumbran and up over the hill that's still called St Dial's Road, we get to this very strange place called St Dial's. And what do well, we know Saint, about it? Two large farms, um, Greater St Dial's and Smaller St Dial's, or however you want to uh, uh, term that. But the large, the Greater St Dial's seems to have a small chapel in, uh, in amongst the building complex. Uh, St Dial's Chapel of Rest is referred to in the records. And um, we don't really know who St Dial's is. There is no St Dial. We've researched and researched amongst saints. We can't find a St Dial. We presume it's either an um, a anglicization of St Dirva or possibly a reference to the dialogues of the saint, uh, Pope Gregory. Right or possibly another St. Duas, and it's mm. been changed around mm. a little bit. Mm. We really don't know. Mm. We need to do an archaeological dig to discover right. that. So how will the archaeology tell you who the saint is? Well, if we can get to the foundation of the chapel, that'll mm. give us a date, date. Yes. for the foundation of the chapel, mm. and possibly mm. that mm. will give us a yes. clue of which yeah. of these theories yeah. is the closest to the truth. Yeah. So for the moment, all we can say is, that we don't know who St. Dial was, but he was one of the people who shaped the landscape of this area before Cumbran really was ever thought of. Yeah, and we don't even know if his name was Dial. No. So, <laughs> what we really need is more archaeology. Yes? Absolutely. Yes. And, I, and okay. I, think that, I think that might be a really good way to wind up our tour, because there's, there's clearly still a lot about the ancient past to this new town to find out about and we need more archaeology. Yeah.